Hi, Dave Lee here, commercial aviator, thermographer, and part 107 drone pilot, back with you for another episode of FLIR Delta. Probably the most common question we get is some version of how far can I see or how high can I fly? So that's what we're gonna talk about today. But there are actually two versions of this question depending on your application. How far away can you be and simply see a target? And how far away can you be and accurately measure its temperature? How far away you can be from something and simply detect it is a function of your target's size, how much thermal energy it's giving off, and other factors like atmospheric conditions and the temperature difference between the target and its surroundings. But today we're going to look at this question from the perspective of the drone thermographer, who's trying to get accurate temperature measurements. The main thing to know is that just because you can see something doesn't mean you're close enough to get an accurate measurement of it. If you've taken a level one thermography course, you remember the three things you can't compensate for after you've captured an image. The acronym FORD, focus, range, and distance. Now focus on these cameras is fixed, so that's not a problem. Range deals with the temperature range the camera is sensitive to, and that setting should always be part of your pre-flight checklist. Distance to the target is what we're talking about here. There's nothing you can adjust after the flight to make up for the fact that you were simply too far away from your target when you were capturing images. And nobody wants to have to call a client and tell them that you have to refly a site because you got back to the office, found out that you hadn't captured any useful data. Another thing to remember is that the distance we're talking about here is from the camera to the target of interest, not just the height above the ground. For those of you involved with public safety or search and rescue, the same concepts apply. You need to know the size of the target you're looking for and plan your flights so that your look down angle, altitude, and the leg spacing of your search patterns are all thought out ahead of time so that you don't inadvertently put yourself in a position where it's simply impossible for your camera to detect the search target. But we're gonna cover all that in later episodes. The thermographer trying to get accurate temperature measurements has to plan his flights with an eye to what's called the camera's measurement field of view, or MFOV. The MFOV isn't just a single pixel like many people think, it's actually a five by five square of pixels. And to get an accurate temperature measurement, your target has to fill and preferably overlap that entire five by five pixel spot. If the MFOV spot is larger than the target you're trying to measure, your readings will be skewed because you're including energy from other adjacent objects and not just the spot you're trying to measure. What does this have to do with how far away you can be? Well, the area the MFOV will cover will vary depending on how far you are from the target. So how can you use this information? Well, primarily, it lets you plan your flights so that you don't find yourself outside the geometric envelope you need to be in in order to get the accurate temperature measurements you're after. Thanks for watching this episode of FLIR Delta. Keep checking back for new episodes and free helpful downloads at fleer.com slash delta. Fly safe, I'll see you next time.